We would see it go down like fucking Nagasaki. Oh, hold on a minute. And this is what happens on the internet, guys. I can say whatever I want. Another excuse to be offended. I was introduced to Ethan Van Skyver and Comicsgate in more than one way. My discovering of Comicsgate was a culmination of different pathways. I was just starting to take comic books seriously. I started to recognize it as something that could provide entertainment to me. Part of the reason why I started to open my mind to comic books was that a lot of my favorite live action characters were adaptions of comic book characters and comic books. One of my favorite TV shows, which was canceled twice, was being continued in comic book form. And two of my favorite movies were also being continued in the form of comic books. And one of my favorite political commentators and musicians also was a comic book fan. And he would often make videos talking about the comic book industry. I am also a huge Star Wars fan. I was so disappointed when The Last Jedi came out. As a result of my said disappointment, I started looking for videos on YouTube to see if anyone else shared my reaction to Star Wars Episode Eight, The Last Jedi. Eventually, Ethan Van Skyver's YouTube channel, Comic Artist Pro Secrets, popped up in my recommended videos. I randomly clicked one of his videos and it looked enticing to me, so I watched it. I noticed that Ethan Van Skyver had several videos talking about Star Wars news. I watched video after video and eventually I watched all of his Star Wars content that he had out at the time. Because of the fact that I was enjoying Ethan's content, I decided to watch his videos where he talked about comic books. Soon after Ethan Van Skyver launched his Cyberfrog Blood Honey campaign, at the time of the original campaign's launch, I was having some trouble with money. I was working, but I had some bills I had to pay. But I kept watching his YouTube channel. I tuned into the Comic Skate live streams. I saw many people come and go. Prior to my discovering Ethan and witnessing Comic Skate develop, I was inclined to support like something like Comic Skate anyway. And to be honest, I at the beginning kind of thought that Cyberfrog was kind of silly. Therefore, there was no way I was going to waste money on that. However, I kept listening to Ethan Van Skyver. I was lured into Ethan's passion about Cyberfrog. I was lured in by the art of Ethan Van Skyver and the coloring of Cal Ritter. Cyberfrog Blood Honey had me impressed. My mind opened up as I realized that everything I like could be considered silly very easily. I mean, if someone really wanted to, they could tear everything I like apart under the notion that it's silly or stupid. I think we all have that experience where we're showing something to a friend and all they do is denigrate it or we're enjoying something, watching something, listening to something, reading something, we're looking at something and somebody's always like, uh, what the hell is that? Or they'll point out something to make fun of it. They will nitpick anything, cherry, or they'll cherry pick a detail. It's quite annoying. It's so I, I know how that feels. So that's when I arrived at the conclusion that, you know, hey, I actually really want to buy this. The Cyberfrog Blood Honey team-up cover became available on Indiegogo, and I bought it, and then I got the comic, and boy oh boy am I glad that I did buy it. Cyberfrog Blood Honey arrived in the mail. It didn't take long for me to begin reading it as soon as I possibly could. The art had me taking my time going through the pages because, I mean, I was taking in all of the detail. Just to me, I don't know if, how it's going to show on the camera. This is an HD camera, but the art in this, it's so unique and so, let me show you what I think is the most beautiful page of the book. It's at the beginning, but I think this is the most beautiful art in the book right here. This is my favorite two pages. 
not story wise, but just art wise, absolutely beautiful. I mean, the color scheme, the color palette, the contrast between everything, the amount of colors that are used, and also my favorite colors. My most favorite color is green. I'm also a huge fan of red, but blue is definitely a third. Um, it's just unbelievable. So, like I said, the art had me taking my time going through the pages because, like I said, I was taking in all of the detail. And I love that Cyberfrog Blood Honey allows you to start reading it without needing to know what happened prior. You're provided with a succinct origin story that reveals just enough. You don't need to read the previous Cyberfrog material, but you can if you want to. Ethan's story reveals the the fission between Cyberfrog and the rest of humanity. And uh you know, despite the fact that Cyberfrog is tasked with defending humanity, he is still scorned by humanity for being different, for being essentially what many would perceive to be unnatural or a monster. <clears throat> and this particular section of the comic is relatable, especially if you're different or you felt like an outsider you were bullied or you just felt like you had to hide a part of yourself because no one else would understand something you're interested in or they would, as I described earlier, nitpick something to make fun of it. What the hell is that? Or, God, you know, that's stupid. So, I, I was never bullied, but, and I, I mean, I had instances where I felt like an outsider. I certainly felt like I thought like different people and I certainly felt like I couldn't, be 100% open with a lot of my interests and in a lot of way this has affected me as an adult because I find that I'm not an open book I mean there, so there's people who will tell you every single detail about their lives and they can get pretty annoying but I am the extreme opposite of that I just have problems with talking to like friends about things that really I mean are personal but aren't that personal so, if you've ever felt just anything that made you feel different or like an outsider, that part will really resonate with you. And, like I said, I was never bullied. But, I actually felt emotional during this part. I felt bad for Cyberfrog. And it's brilliant because that plotline not only draws you into caring for Cyberfrog, but it's a useful tool that makes you really care for Heather Swain. And, of course, um, Salamandroid. Uh, let's see if I can find... There we go. Yeah, right there. <clears throat> so, you care about Heather Swain. You care about Salamandroid. You care about Cyberfrog. And they all... This this is just a brilliant comic. I have almost nothing but praise for it. Salamandroid is a lovable character too because he's basically a friendly giant and because he's so big, in a way there is some clumsiness. And you already feel uh, sympathetic for Cyberfrog because he's the scorn of humanity. And you like Heather Swain because she accepts him and it's a really powerful... Um, facet of scenarios or characteristics or character archetypes and, and motive behind all of them that makes you understand, care for them, and feel attached to them, which is amazing. And Ethan Van Skyver has managed to create a universe I care about. Comic Artist Pro Secrets has managed to create a story I want to follow for as long as it lasts, you know, I'm, when I read this, I'm rooting for the heroes. If you like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you're gonna like Cyberfrog, Blood Honey. You're gonna like Cyberfrog in general. If if you like superhero comics, you're gonna like Cyberfrog, Blood Honey. 
if you like a realistic feeling, if you, it, sorry, if you like realistic feeling characters, you're gonna like Cyberfrog Blood Honey. If you enjoy characters who interact with each other and actually feel like friends, you're gonna like Cyberfrog Blood Honey. If you like character development, if you like good characters, you'll like Cyberfrog Blood Honey. So, I typically don't do ratings for shows, movies, games, or comics. It's not something I want to do. But if I did do it, Cyberfrog Blood Honey would get a 10 out of 10. The art is beautiful. The story is good. It's simple, but it is exciting at the same time. You you just want to keep turning pages. Sometimes if I don't have time to read a comic book, I will put it down and read it later. Or I have trouble just getting through like really boring parts in comic books. And I have a short attention span. But this, I read in one sitting. Because it was just so good, I did not want to put it down. The characters are lovable. The concept is unique and creative. The writing is stellar. And there's... When I when I said earlier that there's so much I like about this comic, there's nothing about Cyberfrog Blood Honey that I dislike. And usually there's something in a comic that I can nitpick or identify when I probe hard enough that I dislike. There's always something. But this is one of those rare instances, as far as comic books go, where I am 100% okay with everything. I, sometimes I'll read a comic and I'll be like, oh, you know, I wish there was more action. I'll read a comic and I'll say something, or I'll think something like, I wish the art was better. I wish the dialogue wasn't cheesy. I wish these characters felt real. I wish that wasn't in there. I wish they would have done this. Uh, there's too much action, not enough story. This comic book, in my opinion, has the most amazing pacing for a story ever you have just the perfect amount of exposition character development and action and it leaves me wanting more and it makes me feel satisfied even though i want more if this was the only comic book in this storyline i would be upset i mean i wouldn't be upset i mean i, I would i would want more but i'd be satisfied with what i got um, I want more. I'm excited for Wrecked Planet. Uh, I will be reviewing Unforgettable Tales number one and two at some point, so look forward to that. But if you can get your hands on a copy of Cyberfrog Blood Honey in any variation, with the art by Ethan Van Skyver and the coloring by Cal Ritter alone, is enough to buy it. The uh, the story. And the characters do the rest and sell it even more. Have a good one.